Hello and welcome to our video on Key Clock presented by Mohammed Niaz from IT Pro Guide. In this section, we're going to do a kind of a demo. So if you already implemented your Key Clock, then join with me. Let's have a small demo. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new RHEL. Then we're going to create a user and a group the client part which need a kind of a bit explanation so i thought better to do it as a separate video so what we're going to do in this demo we're going to create a realm named uh, it pro guide you can choose your own uh, realm name then i'm going to create four users then i'm going to group the users into two groups engineering and sales so Alice and Bob gonna go to engineering, then sales gonna go to Carol and Dave. So the main purpose other than understanding and having some practice on creating realm users and groups, we're gonna host an application later in this section and that application gonna use these users groups uh, to, to log into the application. So you also implement uh, in a similar way so later you can download the web application from the github repository and also you can practice the same what i'm gonna show in the coming videos i have open key clock from the browser then click on the administrator console then enter the username and password that take me to the master realm so you can see that it is master realm here i can create a new realm so let's create a new realm and here i'm gonna name it as it pro guide then it is enabled create that's it now you have created a new realm so now you can switch the realm like i shown here you can switch between the realm so if you're gonna create users then make sure you selected the right realm then we're going to add users so click on the add users so the required user actions it is not mandatory so let's leave it then focus on the mandatory field because this is for a demo purpose so username i'm going to put one of the user that i display that is alice then let's put a dummy uh, email value so this email doesn't exist then you can enable that this email verified uh, for example uh, if you don't have an email verification option uh, if you're practicing it then it's always okay like to tick from your side email verified then put the first name and last name so just for me to identify that this user belongs to engineering group i'm just gonna put the last name also as engineer just to uh, oh, make sure that I will not mess up with multiple users and groups so the user has created then you can see you have an option to set password from the credentials so there you can uh, set password so what you did you created a user with the minimum uh, attributes then you also set password then I leave it as permanent uh, so that's why I just of the temporary option so i have a user then i also give a credential then i have role mapping groups concerns uh, sessions a lot of details other so let's add other users also you can also uh, practice the same so i have four users to create so i'm gonna add user bob So the, now the user Bob is also ready. We have set password and uh, we have two users now. Now we can create a group. So click on the groups, then create a group. So the two users that we created belongs to engineering group. So let's create the group engineering, then create. Then you can add these users that you created to this uh, engineer group. So you can see members is now empty you can add member then you can select both user 
then you can click add that will add both the users to the group so now you have two users and one group we have to do the same for the sales also so sales part i leave it to you do it from your side so i have created both the users in sales so in total we have four users available now let's go and create the second group that is sales group then click on create now the group is ready now you can add members from here so I'm gonna add Carol and leave the other user as it is because I want to show you another option to add two use groups for example you can go to users then click on the user then you can go to groups inside the user then also you can join so this is another option so now we have two groups and four users in our key clock under the new realm that we created that is IT Pro Guide. So that is it. Thank you for watching this video. In the coming video we're gonna see what is client, what are the configuration options available. Then we need to host a web application and see how these users can be authenticated for that web application using our key clock and the new realm that we created. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.